Yo, yo, hello guys and welcome back to NHL 2004 uh, Rebuild. Today we are here and r real quick, I wanted to take a look actually at um, the top eight picks that were in the draft. Now we know we hit with um, Smrek and um, so I wanted to see did, how good do we actually do and so I have took the screenshot of the top eight uh, during that draft so I have the names and I have the places they went and so we're gonna take a look at them all right and let me turn this down actually I did my due diligence and I looked at the uh, the first overall pick which was a goalie and I was thinking oh no Oh no, did I mess up as a GM and say that this was a weak goalie draft when it wasn't? Well, the GM of the New York Islanders thought the opposite of me. They thought it was a very good goalie draft because they went out and with the number one overall selection, the number one pick in the NHL draft for the first time ever on the channel, they picked the goalie. And no one will ever take this away from this guy, I will say that. He will always be the number one pick in NHL on my channel. History. S. Uh, Stathos. <clears throat> 20 years old. 66 overall. And it gets worse. He is a bust, ladies and gentlemen. He's a big boy bust. Oh, man. Scott. Stathos and the New York Islanders GM needs to be fired, man. He's got 52 potential. What, what did he see that made him think that this was a good goalie? Maybe the speed? I don't know, man. I don't get it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's the first guy. So the second guy, though, um, Columbus. And I'm, a, I'm not even going to pretend I already know. This is the only one I looked at um, before I started recording. And... It's a good pick. It is Kuba. He's 19 and he's at 66 overall, but he has 95 potential. The Sweden beast, Vaklav Kuba. Uh, and he is, um, He's going to be there. He, he's a franchise. In my opinion, yeah, he's a franchise. That's what you would consider a franchise uh, defensive man. And he's 19 years old. So now, as my throat is a little sore here, I might have to slow down with talking because I'm dealing with strep throat. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to take it slow here. And so the third overall pick went to the Winnipeg Jets. This was their first ever draft pick as a franchise, right? This was their first season. And they had a very early draft pick. And they did end up picking an 18-year-old defensive skater, Jesse Barr. So let's look for him. If they signed him, it's looking like they didn't sign him. Jesse Barr, I don't see him. Oh no, so he, he didn't even make their roster. I guess we'll never know. Whoa, Jesse Barr. There's Duba. Let's check him out. Yeah, no, he's a bust. Yeah, man. Okay, so I guess the third overall pick didn't even get signed? Jesse Barr? Can I wonder if I could find him in free agents. You rookie defensive man. No, he's not here, so someone has signed him. Oh, wow, this player right here, Samuelson, has, he's a left wing and he has 88 potential. He's a, he's a free agent. We might actually pick this guy up.
Would it be worth it? I mean, I don't know. We'll think about it. Um, these are the rookie defensive men. Let's see. Jesse Barr, I don't see him. Okay, well, I guess Jesse Barr will never know unless we come across him. Let's keep looking. So the fourth overall pick was Nick Armstrong. He went to Edmonton. Let's check Edmonton, shall we? Nick Armstrong, and he was a a left wing. Armstrong, Armstrong. I don't see him. So another one that didn't get signed, huh? Uh, you rookie skaters. They do have Corhan. Oh. I had this guy on my list. He went to Edmonton. How was he? 67 overall. 70 potential. Okay. I, I dodged a bullet there. I guess. But yeah, they didn't sign their fourth overall pick. Mario Blackburn. Um, let's check where he went. He went to... He was the fifth overall pick and he went to Nashville. Blackburn. Let's check and see if we can't find this guy. Ah, uh, they don't have him. Nick Markov was their pick, and he is a 65 overall. 79 potential. A decent hit there from Montana. That was not too bad. But overall, you didn't sign your first pick, so I'm not sure what's happening here. Next up, we got... Back lab check. He went to Vancouver. I wonder if this is like normal for hockey you, to not sign your draft picks. This is weird to me, man. That's not how football works at all. You sign your draft picks, man, for the most part. We've seen that name already, Samuelson. So we're seeing some names repeat in the generation. Uh name generator or whatever so that's a little annoying oh here he is rookie skaters or rookie goalies he is a goalie and he went sixth so we'll see how good he is did Vancouver hit the future goalie 19 years old 64 overall and potential is a 74 so now he's more of like a a low starting caliber kind of player it seems like more not starting but like a backup I mean oh man I'm feeling good about my draft man I'm not gonna lie Barta the only person that you could say so far has done better than us is uh, Columbus Leonard Barta went to he was a right wing and he went to Anaheim. So let's check Anaheim real quick. And they Barda Barda. Let's look for Barda. Barda Barda Barda. Barda Barda Barda. A lot of these players aren't getting signed. I you want know, anyone what I think it is? I think it's because it was a weak draft. Yeah, dude, they didn't sign him. I think this is a very weak draft, actually. Okay, last one I want to check. Just It was another goalie, and it was Chicago. And it was this guy right here, Stephanus Daginis. They have him in the minors right now. He's 18, 60 overall. <laughs> <laughs> he was a bu he's a bust. He'll never get better. Oh man, I think we did good guys for yeah, that's the top page right there of the draft. Only one person, only one GM hit like we hit later. I mean, let me just show you guys if you didn't see. We did good. Um we ended up getting this stud right here. Where's he at? Schmreck. And this was by accident. We signed him to a three-year deal. He's, now, listen, he is very low overall. That's why I say Columbus did better than us, but we got this guy very late with this potential right here, 90 overall potential. So I do think Columbus, obviously, 
they hit very well. They got a better player than Smrek, but we do have a decent set of um stuff. Now, Vidlicky's overalls and potential have went down, so maybe theirs will get better. I, you know, a lot of that. I'm not sure why it goes down, cause his his he was at a 76 overall. I think it has to do a lot with uh, the the facilities, man, which is kind of annoying. I do think that their potentials can go up, though, and their overalls can go up, obviously. So we'll see what happens. So just wanted to show you guys the you know the players that went in the draft to the other teams, at least the top eight. And now, without further ado, it's time to get into week one and do our little team reveal here. So let's do that. Let's show you guys what we have here in Florida. So we have Jokinen, Nguyen Dyke, and Kozlov. The first line hasn't changed much. Jokinen is playing at left wing. Which, you know, is weird because it's two centers. I don't know why the game is doing that necessarily. I guess this is our scoring lines. Um, he doesn't really take a negative hit, so whatever. Um, and I don't want to edit the lines manually until I know more about the game of hockey. So right now I'm just going to let the CPU kind of do its thing. Puts us on the same playing field as the, the AI as well. So, second line looks like this. Third line. Here you go. Fourth line. Shvidsky, Kapanen, and Kolnick. And then there's our defense, Boy Meester. There's, I mean, these are all veterans, players that we've seen before, but there you go. Pekinen, T. Pekinen, this guy, is a rookie. And he will be getting some starting time. Uh, Vidlicky is not getting starting time as of right now. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good for the team. We're kind of... I wouldn't say I'm expecting any more than last year's performance. I'm not, and I'm hoping then nothing less. You know, I'm definitely hoping for playoffs. I'll put it like that. I'm hoping for some playoffs, and um, you know, maybe, maybe we can go farther. But our team still needs to grow a little more. So, you know, it is what it is. But in today's episode, I want to sim and um, maybe sim to a team we haven't watched yet. I want to give you guys a gameplay. Maybe we'll sim to, I don't think we've watched Minnesota. As a matter of fact, Minnesota has T. Conley, which was a guy I was actually looking at. Who I really wanted to draft. He was a uh, a left wing. I wonder if they're going to be starting him or not. I think let's sim two games here, and I'm going to give you guys a gameplay of Minnesota, and then I'll be doing a lot of simming, and we'll uh, see how your Florida Panthers fare in year two. So let's go ahead and sim, and see if we can't get a win to open up year two. And yes, we do. It's four to one against your Tampa Bay Lightning. That is what I like to see. And let's go ahead and address real quick the finances. Make sure we've done all that. Everything that we need to do. Oof. We're not making, we're not, um, we don't have a lot of money to spare these days. So let's make sure we're bringing in every little bit that we can here. Playoffs don't really matter. We do have a TV contract of 21 million, which went down, I guess. Not sure how we get that to go up. Our total income is 74, so I mean, we could be worse. We could be like Edmonton, right? Our concessions have went up a little bit. 
But our TV contract, man, we gotta get that up, dude. We have like one of the lowest TV contracts. Anyways, okay. Let's um sim our next game. It's against Winnipeg, you know. I feel like we got a rivalry with these guys. But look at us when we're when we're when we're um guys. We are away. If we can just get rid of the negative home impact that we have with the stupid little system that this game has. Look at the team we've really built. 83 overall. Like we 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 didn't see that overall that high last year. We I don't know if we're going to be too young. I mean, for for the most part, the young players aren't really even starting here, you know? So I think, for the most part, dude, the team is kind of the same. We did get rid of um, one of our veterans. I, I think I wrote down the name. Bezzarini, or Bezarin. We got rid of him, and he was one of our higher point makers, I do know, but we ended up getting a third. For um, So, you know, we don't have him, but for the most part, this is the same team. This is the same team. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we lose four to three. A nasty little shootout there. High scoring game. That's unfortunate. And you know what? Um, we're gonna give you guys a Minnesota gameplay. I'm actually excited. I hope they're starting T Conley, but you know, I doubt it. He's probably in the minors. But we're gonna find out here. Either way, we're one and one. This is very early gameplay. I like to give you guys an early gameplay in the season then I do a lot of simming we look at the results and then it's playoff time so um, I'm not really looking at making any trades real quick do they already have scouting reports up I doubt we have any information but yeah here you go Ab, Alto, Arena oh we do have a little bit of oh yeah look at this Nylander, Nylander Jay Nylander dude holy crap 79 that's the Way faster than last year's speed. Smrek. Wait, what the fluff? Is Smrek's back in the... <laughs> the names are, are like... They must have not had a huge uh, name generator, dude, back in the day. Because I'm really seeing names repeat. And that's kind of annoying. Ooh, Sturm. S Sturm. 79 agility, 81 endurance, 70 pass. Okay. Ooh, 69 balance, 83 shot power though, 75 deking, 72 puck control. We're gonna have to put Sturm on our list of wa our watch list for sure. Petrovicki, goalie, 84 speed. How is that? How is he a goalie and he's that fast? His glove low is 75. Okay, this is a stronger draft class. 76 stick low. Yeah, this is a strong draft class for sure. 77 break. Oh, boy. I'm excited now. You know what? If we have... I, okay. Before we get into Minnesota gameplay, there's one thing I, I'm hoping. Either I hope we lose really big or we win really big. With a blistering shot, Dupuis gets in the way. He gets hold of the puck. Dupuis gets rocked. Kozlov takes control of the puck. Ko scores! Great goal on the backhand. That's not easy. Many say the backhand is the toughest save in hockey. The goalie has no clue where... Bomister, Jokinen. Minnesota takes it. Short pass. Jokinen dumps the puck in. 
Florida grabbed it. Fires hard. Semenov stops the shot. Lilia running takes control of the puck. Park. Minnesota got it. One one. Connolly runs over Lilia. Lilia takes possession of the puck. Ronning gets checked. Nice body check. Good defensive play. One timer. Kozlov into the attacking zone. Semenov shoots it. He scores. A good wrist shot is hard to stop. And that was a good wrist shot. That makes it a two-goal lead late in the first. At this point, it's their game. Played back. Lilia knocks the puck loose. Minnesota. Here we go, Craig. They've squared off, and they're ready to throw them. And these guys don't like each other much. Oh, that had to open his eyes. He got tagged in that fight. Has it. Dupuis, break away. Mironov finds the loose puck. Line three. Line three. Park. Florida jumps on it. Groshik. Backhand shot. Luongo scores. The quick release was key to getting it past the netminder on that shot. <laughs> the goalie didn't have a prayer. Wallen gets hold of the puck. Scored by number 25. Over the blue line. Move back. Number 22, Michael Groshek. Groshek gets the loose puck. Luongo scores! It just crossed the line, but it counts. He let go of the wrist shot, and it paid off handsomely with that over the blue line. The door is shut by Luongo. Perfect pad save. Moved ahead. Seminoff gets the loose puck. Cleared away. Grabbed by Florida. Husilius out over the blue line. Passed ahead. Backhand. Rolison. Blocker save. Mironov. One Vig takes control of the puck. Rolison intercepts the pass. Line three. Kudrok knocks him off the puck. Ronning grabbed it. Fired one timer. Rolison made the pad save. One time. Scores. Patience was the key here. He waited for the goalie to commit, then made his move. Now that was pretty. And those two guys make it look so easy. Zit out over the blue line. Moved up. He has his pocket picked. Played back. Moved back. Semenov scores! That shot proves a backhander is dangerous from anywhere. It's purely a guessing game for the goalie, and he guessed wrong there. Moved across. Centers it. Brings it in. Pat Kozlov scores! The classic hockey goal. Over the shoulder and under the crossbar. Nice backhand on that goal. He put it right past the goalie. That's a tough stop for any goalie. Kapanen finds the loose puck. Number 25, Victor Kozlov. Kolnick takes control. Shvidki. He dumps it in. Kolnick finds it. Shoots quickly. Schultz gets in the way. Kapanen takes control of the puck. With a wrist shot, Rolison makes the pads hay. Semenov jumps on the loose puck. Shvidki dumps it in. Kozlov in control now. 
Dupuis picks off the puck. Dupuis gets a hold of it. The Wild dump it in. Dupuis scooped it up. Schwidke. Taken by Florida. Rips a shot. From St. Paul, Minnesota, and for EA Sports, I'm Jim Houston, and I'm Craig Simpson. Have a great one. Oh, dude, not the way I wanted you guys. Not the way I wanted to start. This was, <laughs> oh, this was embarrassing, guys. Oh, uh, man, just very disappointing. Two goals, five given up, dude. Uh, dude, 76 save percentage? What happened? I mean, I, we have no defense. I, I don't know, man. Let's hope simulation goes better than that. But, I mean, even even still, we got to win games, you know, when watching them as well. Because when it's play, if even if we make the playoffs, we're not just simming the whole playoffs. We're watching those games. That's not a good sign, guys. It's early. No reason to panic. But um, let's let's pray that we uh, can turn this around. We know we got a little bit of time. I, I think as GM, this is this is what the plan is. Come trade deadline, we're not gonna make any moves. But come trade deadline, if we are not a playoff team, if it's looking like we're not a playoff team, we are gonna go ahead and s we're gonna blow it up. We're gonna blow the roster up and sell sell house we're gonna get rid of yoke uh we may keep yokinen then again eight million we may get rid of yokinen we're, we'll get rid of uh, niwin dyke uh we'll get rid of kozlov we'll get rid of myronov we'll get rid of burr we'll get rid of ronning we'll get rid of lilia we'll get rid of park we'll blow it up all right we'll only keep the young studs that are able to be a part of the future of Florida okay so this is yeah, we'll see what happens but um, I'm a little uh, yeah you know try not to panic we'll see what happens who alrighty guys we are back here on NHL 2004 embarrassing loss um embarrassing loss that episode now, if I actually think this is the same episode, I'm pretty sure we're in the same video. Oh, I sound stupid if we are. Um, so one month of play and your Florida Panthers sit at a five and six record. We've had some ups, we've had some downs. All right, after that loss, you guys have seen, we went on a two game winning streak. We shut out Columbus. Uh, then we lost to Winnipeg. Then we lost to Toronto. Then we beat the worst team in the league who last year was the worst team. Then we beat Washington. Then we lost against Tampa Bay. And then we lost against Dallas. And so here we are in November. We're going to do some more simming. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time. I was kind of looking at the team, by the way. I was wanting to see what is our weakness. Like, What is an area where maybe we're lacking and so i was going to progress report now these are the real uh oh wait actually no they're not i'm so confused by the overalls in this game they just don't make sense so
So you're telling me, is, is Ollie Jokinen a 90 overall? Is that what it's getting at? You know? It won't tell you his real overall. It's so annoying. It, it's so annoying. Anyways. I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> this game, man. I was looking at our stats, though, man. Shooting accuracy. The best guy we got on our away games is Jokinen. 84 overall. That's just not... That doesn't seem too good, does it? And um, I'm looking at the sim stats, and I feel like maybe it's... We're not putting up enough points. I don't know. I mean, four points here, four points there. Defensive win here. Defensive, defensive win here. Three goals here. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's 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 do some more simming. Let's do some more simming here. We're gonna go get day by day here, uh, day by day simming here. We lose against Winnipeg again, dropping all three games against them. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, another loss. It's looking like we're a sell team, guys, this year. we I think we need to blow it up. Oh, uh, yeah. We need to go ahead and clean house. As the GM, I think I have to do it, man. I think I have to. I think that's where we're at at this point. Yeah, another loss there. Oh, man. Yep, 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 yep. It's getting bad. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's sim. Wait, I'm not sure when the, the trade deadline is. Before we do a massive sim, let, let's check the uh, finances real quick. We are not playing good this year, boys. Oh, our money. Holy shike. All right, you know what? Before we do any sim, that's it. We're cleaning house. Damn it. We're clean. We're cleaning house. Let's check the standings. NHL, Dallas, Rangers, Philly. Wow, Dallas is 15 and three. That's crazy good. Where are we at, man? We are, yeah, we falling down. Six and 12. Okay. We're three and five at home, three and seven away. Man, okay. You know, I think it's time to go ahead and sell, 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 uh, clean out this house. So let's go ahead and get ready to do that, man. We're about to make a lot of moves here. Free up some cap space. We're just, we don't want to be a middle of the road team. We need to free up some money. I'm sorry, Florida fans. Um, I tried to keep some of your old, old heads on the team that you probably remember. Can't do it. I got to make an impact here as, as general manager. It is time to go ahead and try and get something here. Hmm. So, who is on the, the chopping block? Well, we're, I'll tell you right now, we're going to be looking at, first off, um, <clears throat> overall. I mean, not not overall, salary. Now, we know Jokinen. I want Jokinen to stay. I know he's our, our, our biggest trade asset, but he is, what, I think he's only 25. He's got 10 points on the day, or on the season, he's set plus 7. What did he do for us last year? 54 points. We know Neuendijk is going away. He's a veteran. Going to try and trade him on a team that's ready to win right now. It's funny because he actually has 17 points. He has the most points for our team. It doesn't matter though. We're getting rid of him, man. What's his contract? Will it tell us? It doesn't matter. He's making five million. Uh, trade rejected. Not sure why that said that. Okay, here we go. So New and Dyke, where would he? He's a center, 83. He's really higher than that. Um, 
We're going to look by position. Take a look at these teams. I wish it would tell me their overall, but it just doesn't do that. So Anaheim, uh, guess I'll try and think of teams I know that are doing good. Um, we know Dallas is good, but they probably don't need a center, right? Yeah, nah. Detroit. This is a pretty good team. They could probably use a veteran center to push them over the edge. Think about it. They were they they lost the finals last year. They could have their second line center. This makes sense. Could we get a first round draft pick for, for them? Trade rejected. No. All right, we'll take a second from Detroit. You know, I probably could have put um, our center and a second for their first. But, you know, I'll take their second. That's fine. It's going to clear us up cap space anyways. So it is what it is, man. We're blowing it up. But there you go. There you go. So Detroit now has their second line center. Next up, boys, next up, it's time here to, uh, we're going by salary here, Kozlov, we already know he is on, it's, you know, <laughs> he's on the chopping block as well, he's older, he's in his 30s, yeah. Eighty four overall, which he's probably better than that. Right wing, let's take a look now at I guess right wings um, Edmonton could use is Edmonton playing good man I really wish we knew uh, I wish we knew teams that were good Nashville is Nashville playing pretty good this year They could make they could probably use a right winger uh, You know, I only want to trade with teams that are in win now positions that you know want a veteran But I can't I'm not, I'm not gonna keep going back and forth. I'm not sure You know, I wish you would tell us their overalls I'm gonna try and get a first. I'm gonna get, try and get Nashville's first here trade rejected, but what if what if I did this? What if I told you I would give you a third? Nope. They don't like that at all. Okay, okay. Playing hardball. I see, I see. What if I gave you our second? No, they don't want to do it. They don't want to give up that first rounder. They just don't want to do it. What about if I gave you a a fourth? I'm not sure why I don't have a fifth round pick. I meant to say fourth and fifth, but I don't have a fifth rounder, which kind of threw me off. But what about a fourth and a third for your first? No, they're not doing it. Okay, boys. Okay, we're gonna have to settle here for a second rounder. Is that? Do you feel like that's good? Is Nashville? Ah, oh, Kozlov. Man, you know, mm. first, two seconds, third, and a fourth. We get Nashville second. We're blowing it up and we're saving money, so yeah, let's do it. Nashville second. Trade successful, there you go. Ah, oh, man, I've never had to do this. This feels so weird. Ronning is next on the chopping block as well yeah he is uh, very old <laughs> dude was born in 1965 holy crap yeah okay 81 he's probably higher than that could probably get a second for him as well dude we're just getting a bunch of crazy assets here um 
You know what, let's go by uh, attributes and let's go, can I sort it by potential? And let's go to win now team. Like, okay, let's check out New Jersey real quick. Their potential. Oh, is, wait, is this their highest potentials here? So Leto. Is this the guy that they drafted? Let me see. Yeah, this is Leto. Okay. Oh, Leto. Yeah. Yo, I could have drafted this guy. He was an 83 overall potential. Um, He played one game for him and did not do too well. Overall, uh, I, Leto, I don't think I want to. I'm not going to do that here. Just doesn't really make sense here. Um, first off, let's see what their centers are. They got Gomez, Braylon. Hey, am I really about to make the New Jersey Devils better? I don't know if I should. <laughs> I really don't know if I should. Let's see if they'll take, if I can get a first, I, I would say that's, that's worth it, right? But this would definitely make them better, which might not want to do. Uh, they're not going to give up a first, but we could probably get their second. Let's keep moving on, though. The Rangers are playing very well. The Even the Islanders are playing better than us right now. And, uh, which is crazy because they're loaded with nothing but right wing. They have no centers. Hollick. They could use a second line or first line. Dang, they're paying... They're paying uh, Hullick 81 million. I mean, it's not 81 million, 9 million. He's at 81 overall. What's he doing for him, boy? Hmm. Only six points. Okay. The Rangers are playing good, though. Maybe they take a center. Can we get a first from them, maybe? Let's see. I doubt it. Yeah, no. Nah. It's honestly gonna be hard to get anybody's uh let's what about phoenix they got slinger 78 overall so this would just make them better right away maybe they take them they still have hermy who is their starter by the way oh no no he's not he's their backup okay okay still though that's the second goal for, goalie for them can i steal their first away from them no 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 okay but you know what they were a playoff team they they you know probably want to make the playoffs again they were a playoff team last year let's go ahead and give them a, a, a starter um, we've done business with them before, you know, I, if I'm going to give anybody a good veteran player to help them win now, I want to give it to Phoenix just because, hey, we, we've grown a relationship over these years, right? So go ahead. Take my second. We're dumping guys. This is I, I hate that I had to do this, but we're doing it, man. We're, we, we really are. We're doing this. We're just dumping away our team here. Um, Park. How old is Park? How old is Park? I feel like I brought this guy in. He's mine too. Honestly, we'll keep him. Boy Meester, we're keeping him. Oh, Burr. How old is Burr? Drafted 92, born 74. Potential is 82. He's a 76 right now. He's making a lot of money, though. Oh, I was looking at playoff stats that whole time. Damn, my bad, guys. I just realized that. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'd like to get rid of that 2.9 mil contract, honestly. So, a 76 overall. He's probably a little higher than that. Overall, uh, right wing. Let's see. The Penguins, are they a win now team though is the question. Probably not. Not sure if that would make too much sense, but let's try it. Why not? <laughs> I know. I, I, I just had to, you know. I just had to see, dude. 
The AI in this game doesn't let you cheese it, man. Even though I'm kind of cheesing it right now. Oh, they tra they, they're saying no, dude. Nah, we're not taking a sec. We're not giving up a second. They're not a win now team. Let's keep it moving. San Jose was in the playoffs last year. They could use a veteran right wing. Uh, very badly, actually. But, I mean, it's nothing that they don't already have here. Maybe help them with the depth a little bit. Right wing. St. Louis seems to be fine. Uh, I'm not trading at Tampa Bay. Toronto don't need no help. Vancouver. Holy crap. 92. That's the highest overall I've seen in the game, I think. Okay. Jaeger. They don't definitely don't need no help. Right wing. Uh. Winnipeg. Uh, what the fluff? 94 and 92. What did. How did the Winnipeg Jets get two players like this? Yo, what the heck? No wonder they're beating us. Holy crap. Buffalo? 80 overall. They Yeah, they can use a second a second line. And Buffalo what made it playoffs last year. Try to make it again. Do they give us a second for it? No. Probably not gonna get a second for this guy. Let's try and get a third. I'm okay with that. And then I think I'm done. I think we're, we're, we're done. Trade successful. Okay, guys. We just cleaned house here in Florida, boys. It is over. It is done. It is done. We made a lot of moves. And this is what we're left with so far. Miranov, I think, is another guy we're going to be getting rid of. Yeah, he's 32. I'm definitely trading this guy as well. So we're not done yet. He's a defensive player. We're not done yet, boys. We're not done yet. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. I'm um, not free agents. So let's uh, trade. Yes. Defensively here. Where's he at? There he is. Miranov, 71. Damn, man. we're giving him a lot of money. 81. Okay, so it is showing the true overall. Uh, overall, I guess. Oh no, no no there you go there you go I had it on I had I had it on toughness okay okay 81 overall we should be able to get a second for him as well yo are we <laughs> we are overloading on picks right now look at this one two three four five six seven do we have seven fucking picks this is almost cheating and I don't care dude um we have more picks than there are rounds my thing is we can't get future picks in this game which is kind of lame but yeah. Anyways, maybe I can give up like three second rounders for one first rounder. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's uh, defensive player 81 overall. Shoo. Look at Anaheim. They could use him. They could use him. This guy's older though, so I would feel bad. I want to give it to a team that is seriously means business. Uh, maybe a team like Dallas, which... Oh. Possibly. Let's go by attributes. 84. D 80. So, oh yeah, they could use them. In Dallas, we know Dallas is definitely a win now team. I mean, they're already trading away. Look at that. Some of their picks. Well, that. Oh, actually, they. They got one of ours. How the hell did they get one of ours? That makes no sense, but okay. Um. I know you're not going to do it. I just always got to try. I wouldn't be a good GM if I didn't. Give me your second, boy. Let's go. That one's not going to be high. Dallas is definitely a uh, a champ. I mean, they're the number one team right now. Um, and they just got we just we just made them better. I know what we did. I don't need you to tell me. There you go. Um, this is what we're left with now, boys. This is what we are left with. Nine defensive players, seventeen forwards, twenty nine total. Players the oldest player now is 29 year old. He is on his Last year contract. We won't be bringing him back Um Jokinen's at 87 overall 25 year old. He is part of the future. He'll be the veteran we build around 
or as far as skaters go on the ice. Boyomeister is the future defensive lead. And then we have Kuderick, uh, Niederost. All these guys have high potential. Look, look at that, 90 overall potential if we can get them there. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what age they stop growing, but there's Niederrock, 94 is his potential. He's 22. Hopefully, they'll keep growing. Um, we are looking at the future, boys. Uh, Mezzi's 24. I think he should, yeah, 85 overall. Maybe going to miss that window. He's, you know, 24 already. Uh, Shidvid Key, 93 overall. He's 23, so he's you know still got that chance there. Um, then of course our draft picks only hitting in one, so I don't know why it says his. I swear he had Vidligi had way better potential than that, but maybe he doesn't, you know, and so that sucks. But we did hit for sure with Smrek, so we'll try to be growing him. He's a 58 overall. He's got 90 potential. And so we need now to, I guess, make sure we have enough. We need to get some left wing, right wings. We have one, two, three. We should have enough defensive players. So now let's go ahead and just kind of fill in the gaps there. Let's sign, let's sign like... Let's sign um, some high potential young guys here. 94 potential. 66 overall though. Drafted in 97. St. Jaquez. How old is he? 24. Yeah. I feel like he's just not gonna grow there so maybe we don't do that again we're not really looking for best overall because we're not trying to really win which I guess as a GM you can't make it as obvious that you're trying to tank which so so I'm gonna maybe maybe to try and fool people hey you know what maybe we're maybe we won't pick the worst players here I don't know um left wing Samuelson. Let's see how old this guy was. Uh, 88 potential. He's 22. Yeah, let's let's offer him a contract. Why not? Two years. See what happens with him. You know. Bam. Okay. So that's a left wing that we picked up there. He's gonna do something for us. And now we need to pick up a right wing. Let's just pick up this guy. You know, kind of trying to fill in holes, I guess, you know, for our roster here. And All right, there you go. I think that's all I'm going to do. I think we're good as far as meeting the requirements. I, I think if we weren't, it wouldn't let us sim, right? So let's go to... Um... I think it would have spit out like a warning to us. So let's go to, uh, no, 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 crap, not GM. Uh, let's go to coaching lines. And see what we're looking at now. We just blew the team up. I mean, we weren't going to do much anyways. Best lines. There, you, There's your first line. <laughs> Poor Yoken and dude. He's just going to be by himself. Oh man, uh, Zidlicky is now in the fourth line there. Kudarak can can continue to grow. 78 overall. Second line will get a little more time there. Pitkinen, <laughs> Shrinka. Yeah, man, there you go. Okay, and you know, we'll see. <laughs> Like I said, we are 100% uh, looking for the future, looking towards the future. Now we know we're not going to be a playoff team this year. Kind of already knew that, right? So what we just did gave us a lot of picks. 
also gave us a lot of experience as a GM. Look at that. Only nine more points. We'll, we'll hopefully be able to catch back up because after all the success of the other GMs here, we, we fell down in overall experience points. Like, here we are, you know? But this year, look how, look how far we just shot up with all those moves we made, so... Yeah. And hopefully our revenue will go up. We know our team salary went down. Which is crazy, we are still... Which I'm not sure if it's updated. No, no, it did update, 45. We are still very uh, high. <laughs> we're like in the middle though, after all those moves, we're still in the middle of, of you know, finances there. But we didn't, look at the money we're bringing in now, 14.1 million. Kind of bumped that down actually. There you go, 14.4. And now I'm just gonna go, I mean, there's no reason you guys really have to see this. I'm just gonna go day by day, simming, adjusting the prices, simming again, adjusting the prices so we can get the most out of this uh, financially wise. So yeah. Um, for the rest of this episode though, I guess I'll, I'll finish November for you guys so you guys can see some simulation here. We lose. Oh, we're st dude. If we play competitive but lose, I'm fine with that too. Just you know, because I'm not sure if bad games hinder the growth of the young players. I don't think that was implemented in this game yet, but possibly right. But if we're playing competitive like we are right now, maybe you know. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, I mean we're losing these close games. This is kind of crazy. I mean we're losing, but we're losing closely, right? I mean all these are just one goal differences, which is kind of insane. But yeah, we haven't won since we made the changes, boys. Holy crap. <laughs> I just blew it up, dude. I might get fired. Hopefully, they don't fire me. I'm telling them the plan. Like, look, just hang in there. We're still at 82 overall, which is crazy. Our scoring went up. How did that, that don't even make sense. That really don't even make sense. But you can tell You can tell by the simulation it's just not working here. Um, and I think we lost that game, too. Yeah. Holy crap. All right, boys. There it is. I'm just gonna be simming game by game, you know. We, we <laughs> you've seen it. We're gonna be losing these games, and that's all there is to it. We gotta make this next draft count, or my job could be on the line. Uh, let's see. Do I have any upgrade? No, I can't. Oh, see, that's where the negative comes in because I'm only gonna get experience points when I win games. We're not winning any games, so. Yikes. But um, next episode, we'll probably just do a... I'll, I'll send it to the end of regular season. And we'll take a look at the league and the playoff teams. And then hopefully it'll let me sim it uh, day by day. But I have a feeling for you. I have a feeling, guys, that these old games aren't going to let you like sim day by day for the playoffs. If you don't make them, it's just going to sim the whole playoff so that's unfortunate but um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace